Hello, my name is Mariah Davis, and my film is called Rise and Grind. Rise and Grind is a um, documentary about um, hip hop in uh, the South, notably Alabama, notably Montgomery, Alabama. When we get down to it, it's all about the music. And then you're seeing these kids, they, they rap and they got this energy. Like I say, every time you rhyme or every time you do a film or any project, you're just hoping, I hope the right person see it. Need the right person see it to help me get funding, help me get a screen, help tell somebody else for word of mouth. So you get at everything in that performance and watching them do that um, kind of brought it back a little bit for me. The rappers of this community in Alabama, they really felt like their voice ain't been heard. And when we made this film, it, it was more important to them than it actually was to me, you know. Um, I really just wanted to make a documentary to see if I could do it, you know. They um, felt it was a chance for their voice to get heard. I mean, they were so serious about it. It meant everything to them that we, that we finished this. And I feel I really want to just take it over the finish line for them. I feel like I'm obligated. It's my responsibility to, to get it seen. I didn't know the history of the hip hop here, and and they, like I said, they it was so it meant so to them. So when they said, "Yo, you need to talk to this guy. He was the he was the first rapper in the city. You need to talk to this guy. He was the first rapper to go national. He was the first underground rapper." And so they just kept pointing me in the right direction, you know, of who I needed to talk to and some of the icons. And I talked to some of the DJs and promoters. I didn't know anyone um, in the industry. I used to do hip hop about ten years ago myself. And I was always curious why um, people with a lot of talent never really branched out and made it. So I just went and found a couple of MCs that I knew that rapped, and I kind of learned the history of it from them. And it was like a chain reaction of the, who, the people that I needed to talk to. And I went to we interviewed about 50 rappers, get they take on, you know, what it takes in this uh, area to make it as a hip hop artist. From the first, from the first um, day we shot, when we initially was just going to shoot all these rappers and ciphers, just listening to some of them um, talk um, about how they really wanted to make it, I instantly knew what I wanted after that. I, we interviewed a young guy, um, maybe 18 or 19. We had another uh, rapper there was like 36, 37. Mm -hmm. And they were talking the same about the same thing. Still hoping it was an opportunity or a chance for them. Uh, uh, they were talking about how it was hard for them, and it's just like, wow, this guy's 30-something, 36. And he really, because he in his area, he really don't have nothing to offer this young guy as advice, because they still trying to get it. They're like in the same place, you know? Mm -hmm. The same level, it was no, it was like no growth. And I was like, wow, I wonder why it's like that. We started getting footage uh, in this last December, mm -hmm. and we didn't stop getting footage to maybe um, August. We, we, we just compiled a lot of stuff, and um, and we tried to obviously, you know, use the most interesting stuff. A lot of it, you know, doing documentaries is not interesting stuff. I worked on another project. It was a film, and we had a a, a guy who was going to edit it for us. And then he got a job, and um, he said, deuces, you know. I, I'm, I'm getting some real money. Good luck with that. So uh, they put all the footage in my lap. I was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do with this? So I bought me a book, sat down, taught myself how to do it, and I edited the first film like that. I always had been a kind of a self-starter. So I just took the initiative on. Even during the film, I kind of knew... Um, what I wanted when I was watching it on, as it was in real time. So when I went to the lab to start editing it, I kind of already knew what I wanted. I started probably editing in, in March, um, and it took up until probably August for me to finish it, get everything together. You know, you got this burning thing to create in you, and that never leaves. You know, I always tell everybody just just begin and. When I, when I first uh, was trying to do this, I, what I did is I got with a bunch of self-starters because sometimes you get with somebody who's been around and, they, and they're a little discouraging. Not, not to do that on purpose, they just tell you what you need and what you need. But if you don't know and all you got is your imagination and your excitement and you think you can take on the world, get with some people like that and just do it, you know? It's because it's better to, to complete a bad project than don't do anything at all and get discouraged by somebody telling you you couldn't do it anyway.